Hello and good morning to you. This is Frank from Akikad with Frank. This is part 4 of the series Akikad Tip of the Day. In today's tip, I'm going to show you how to bring in models from other software and I'm going to use SketchUp as our case study. So, here on SketchUp, I have this chessboard model that we can see right here. For anyone who plays chess, suggest a good move for black and we'll carry on in the comments. That said, what I'm going to do on Archicad is to utilize this software called Model Port right here. Okay, so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click Open 3D Model. In case you do not have Model Port, you can join our community in the link from the description of this video and I can make the software available to you. Please let's keep in mind software like these are made by developers and they charge money for it. I didn't make it. They have a website you could also go download it over there that said i'm going to locate the file i want to use so that chessboard is here on my downloads folder so let's try locate that all right and i'm going to say open and what happens is i get this small interface right here that shows me the chessboard okay and all I need to verify now is the size, the height is 89, the width is 300, the length is 300. The chessboard is supposed to be square. So the next thing I'm going to do is click on create and I'm going to give it whatever name I want. In this case, chess and I'm just going to add board. So it's going to be chessboard and once I click on create, depending on the complexity of the model, it could take just an instance and in some cases it could take a whole minute. And depending on your system speed, it might take longer. Now that I have done this, if I go into my Archicad libraries in the embedded library folder right here, it will have created a folder containing the objects I just described and this is it. Alright, so I could come place that anywhere on the 3D. I'm going to put the apple point here at the center, open the model and locate this table right here and place the chessboard and there we have it. Okay. So if you want to store this in your Archicad library so that you can utilize it in other projects, some specifically requested for this, so I'll be adding that to the tip of the day. What you're going to do is open your library manager. To do that, click on file, then go into libraries and objects, click library manager, all right? All right, so the next thing you want to do is open the embedded library, and then select this chessboard item right here then use this button here to export you are going to save it wherever you want and that is the first step all right so for now i'm just going to save it on the desktop I'm not going to find any complicated position chessboard export and that happens very instantly once i am done with this the next thing i want to do is i'm going to go to my desktop folder all right locate the chessboard that i just dropped which is this i'm going to copy it then I'm going to go to the C drive where I have Archicad installed. If you did not install yours on the C drive, locate it where it is. I'm currently using Archicad 28, so I'm going to open that, go into the Archicad library, and then I am going to paste it right in there. Continue. All right, so when I open a new project on Archicad, I would have this chessboard as part of that project all the time. Now this is not something I recommend you do for very heavy libraries or objects that you will not use very frequently, primarily because they would make your Archicad take much longer to load up and that's not very desirable. That said, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Today's was longer than usual, but all the same, safe. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye!